Hey everyone, Vinayak here. The Quest 3 is a fantastic VR headset and it's great value for the price. The only downside, if we can call it that, is the battery life of around 2 hours. And the default head strap that is provided with the headset is not of great quality. So to kill two birds with one stone, I have with me the Bobo VR M3 Pro battery headset strap. It provides the support of a premium head strap and also enables adding a battery to the mix, allowing for longer gameplay. But how good is it? Let's find out in this video. This is the Bobo VR M3 Pro battery head strap. I purchased it off MX2 Games. They delivered an original product. Only problem was that it took two months to deliver. But now I'm happy that it has arrived. In the box, we have the head strap. And this section would mount the battery and it attaches magnetically. Here's the question. And the box has installation instructions on it, so make sure to read it. And this is the main strap. We have the Bobo VR branding here. Looks quite nice. We also have a choice of this hexagonal cushion. Not sure why I'll move from the super soft cushion, but it's there. This dial here allows for expanding and contracting the strap to get the best fit for your head. I'm already using a custom strap with my Quest 3, which is quite comfortable. I have instructions on how to install it in my other video and the link can be found here. So I have to remove it first. Just, it just pops off like so. Do the same on both the sides. Now for the Bobo VR M3 Pro head strap, attach the cushion at the back, make sure to align the markings R for right, L for left, it clips on easily. Done. Now for the strap, this is a bit different, open up the strap flat, each side slides into each section instead of snapping, slide it into the sections, one on each side, it will stop just before the USB-C and the headphone jack. Connect the USB-C cable to the USB-C port on the headset. The top supports are just these two disconnected sections, no straps across, maybe as it can open up in an angle. And here's the battery, we get a USB-C cable to charge it. We also have a manual within. So this is the battery, it has these magnets here which would align with the back of the headset. The center contacts are for power. And the USB-C port is used to charge the battery and the battery attaches magnetically. The magnet is so powerful and we see the ring on the battery illuminate indicating that it's active. My Quest 3 is already at full charge. That's why the LED is already green, else it would light up amber. The weight distribution is well thought of and uh, we can remove the battery like so and it mounts back like this. And we can see the current battery level via these LEDs on front. There's a support strap in front too. We need to attach it to the headset. It works without it, but it's better to attach it to. It can be removed from the top by removing this cushion. And now it's easy to install. Now that everything is ready, we can wear the headset by adjusting the strap size front and back. And see, this is how you do it. You can use this dial here. So rotate it this way to make it larger and rotate it the other way to make it fit to your head. So tighten down the strap using the dial at the back. This is quite comfortable. The top support feels like it's floating and doesn't touch the head much. Getting it to the right angle, it will. The battery charges the Quest 3 via the USB-C cable and it works seamlessly. There are the occasional beeps when you connect the USB-C port or when you connect the battery. At least we get an audible confirmation that the battery is mounted properly. The internal battery and the Bobo VR battery have around the same capacity and we get around double the battery life. The headset can be used without mounting the battery. It could be charging somewhere and when required can be mounted. And this is so cool. I like the way that the battery attaches. Battery life, we can expect around 4 hours of life as per the complexity of the game that you're playing. I feel that 2 hours in VR is still too much. But if you're playing with friends in tow one by one in a line, then you will need more battery. The battery can be charged using the Quest 3 charger via the USB-C port and the battery takes 3 hours to charge up to 100%. We can see the current battery level via these LEDs here and if you want to turn the battery off, just double tap and it turns off and we get a beep after a few seconds indicating that the, but the battery is off. Should be there right now. There, that's the beep. We can also charge the Quest 3 through the battery. So connect the power to the battery and via the USB-C cable connected, it will charge through. 
the headset stays in place, I can move front and back, side to side, and it still stays put. How about fast movements? No problems at all. It feels well balanced and the weight distribution is designed really well. Even if there's no battery, it still feels good. The strap is so much more comfortable compared to the default 5 strap. We can also open it up in an angle in the front so you can peek out without having to remove the headset or loosening the strap. But this does not work if you have glasses on and you will need to loosen the strap. And yes, glasses do fit except for the opening bit. The ports are easily accessible. Of course, the USB-C port is occupied for charging, but a 3.5 mm jack is accessible. When the face shield is removed, it's recommended this way for mixed reality content, but I like VR content more, so I have the face shield installed. The rear cushion is removable as it's attached by Velcro, and you can just remove it and clean or replace with another strap, which is the one that which is provided if you really want to. Also being removable, you can replace it easily if it starts to shed. Not sure how easy it would be to procure replacement cushions, but at present, it's still good. Build quality of the head strap is great. It feels solid. And this is the M3 Pro model and there's a new S3 model available. Figures, there's always a newer version of hardware available only after I purchase this generation's tech. And the prices for the band are like all over the place. It's from 7K to 18K. I managed to get it at a good price from MX2 games, but it does take time to deliver, which was two months. I purchased it for personal use and it's a great head strap. It's totally comfortable and the added battery is a plus. But if you're not looking for a battery strap, then the electronic uh, elite comfort strap I reviewed in an earlier video is a cheaper option for a comfortable strap. So what do you guys feel? Is it a worthy accessory or is two hours of gameplay give or take already too much? Make sure to comment below. Also make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.